On November 24, 2009, 26-year-old John Edward Jones entered Nutty Putty Cave in Utah with his family and friends. What began as an adventure meant to celebrate Thanksgiving turned into a tragedy that would capture national attention. In the following hours, a fun excursion turned into a desperate, 28-hour long rescue attempt that ultimately claimed John's life. His tragic story highlights both the beauty and the inherent danger of caving and serves as a solemn reminder of how quickly things can go wrong, even for the most experienced explorers. Nutty Putty Cave, a narrow and challenging cave system in Utah, was discovered in 1960 and soon gained a reputation for its unique clay-lined passages and difficult, tight squeezes. With areas known as the Big Slide and the Maze, Nutty Putty attracted both novice and experienced cavers, as well as families seeking a thrilling outdoor activity. It was particularly famous for having sections that seemed approachable yet posed hidden dangers due to their tight passages. Despite its relatively short length, it offered a sense of adventure to those daring enough to enter. As Nutty Putty's popularity grew, so did the number of incidents within it. Between 1999 and 2004, several cavers required rescue after becoming stuck in its narrow, claustrophobic spaces, leading to multiple closures. Safety became a growing concern, prompting authorities to implement a registration system to monitor and control access to the cave, hoping to reduce the risk of accidents. However, the danger remained for those who underestimated the cave's complexities. John Edward Jones was a beloved husband, father, and medical student who had spent much of his life exploring caves with his family. Alongside his younger brother Josh, he had grown up caving in Utah's varied landscapes, forming a passion for exploration from a young age. John was known for his cheerful, optimistic personality and his deep love for his family, which now included his young daughter and a baby on the way. As a father and a man committed to his studies, John was on his way to a bright future. The brothers had not been caving in years, and this return to the caves, meant to rekindle a favorite childhood activity, seemed like the perfect way to bond with friends and family. It had all the makings of a joyful reunion with the cave environments that had once been their playground. The Thanksgiving holiday brought everyone together, and Nutty Putty seemed like a harmless, even beginner-friendly, adventure to reconnect with the thrill of caving. As night fell on November 24, John, Josh, and several others entered the Nutty Putty Cave around 8 p.m. Spirits were high as they made their way through the initial passages, with laughter and camaraderie filling the cave. Their flashlights illuminated the narrow walls and small crevices, adding to the thrill of navigating the tight spaces. For John, the evening must have felt like a nostalgic return to his youth, sharing his love for exploration with the people he cherished most. At approximately 9 p.m., John decided to explore a narrow, winding passage he believed to be the Birth Canal, a challenging but navigable passage known for its tight fit. He entered the passage headfirst, moving through the cramped space that progressively narrowed. However, John had mistakenly entered an unknown section that was even tighter than the Birth Canal. As he wriggled forward, the space grew narrower until he could no longer move. John quickly realized he was stuck, head down, and wedged into the rock, unable to reverse or maneuver out of the precarious position. Panic began to set in as John's predicament became clear. He was trapped head first in a position where he could neither turn around nor retreat. Even breathing became a struggle, given the pressure on his chest and the awkward angle. His brother, Josh, attempted to pull him out by his ankles, but John was too tightly wedged. 
Realizing he could not free his brother alone, Josh rushed to get help, leaving behind another friend to keep John company as he waited in the dark, suffocating space. Rescue efforts began in earnest as local emergency services arrived at the scene, launching a massive operation to free John. The rescuers faced unique and overwhelming challenges, the cave's pitch-black environment, the narrow, claustrophobic passages, and the fact that only one rescuer could reach John at a time. Working in such conditions required immense patience and skill, as each maneuver risked worsening John's position. The first step in the rescue attempt involved trying to chip away rock around John to create more space. Unfortunately, this method was laborious, and as time wore on, the rescuers had to abandon the drilling due to the difficulty and the risk of causing further collapses. After re-evaluating their approach, the team decided to create a complex pulley system that would allow them to pull John out by his legs, the only part of him they could access. As hours passed, rescuers communicated with John to keep his spirits up. Despite the pain and his terrifying predicament, he expressed gratitude to the team working tirelessly to save him, maintaining hope and courage in the face of unimaginable distress. At one point, rescuers lowered a radio to John so he could speak to his wife, who was waiting outside the cave. His calm, reassuring words brought comfort to her, giving both John and his family hope that he might be saved. The pulley system was slowly lifting John, inch by inch, out of the narrow passage. However, he was in extreme pain, and as hours ticked by, his body was becoming weaker from the position, the lack of circulation, and the physical strain. Every moment spent suspended head down increased the risk to his health, and the clock was running against him. After nearly 27 hours of efforts, disaster struck. Just as the pulley system seemed to be working, a rock arch supporting it suddenly fractured. The rigging failed, and John was sent sliding back into the tight space. The force of the collapse threw one of the rescuers against the cave wall, briefly knocking him unconscious and effectively ended the hope of freeing John. The team attempted several more times to reach him, but by then, John had lost consciousness. Rescuers were forced to confront the heartbreaking truth, John Edward Jones had passed away. The death of John Edward Jones devastated his family, friends, and the entire caving community. His wife, left a widow with a young daughter and an unborn child, was overwhelmed with grief. The rescuers who worked tirelessly to save him were deeply affected, some carrying the emotional toll for years afterward. For many, the Nutty Putty Cave incident served as a sobering reminder of the dangers of caving, even in caves considered safe for beginners. In the days that followed, Nutty Putty Cave was permanently closed to the public. Authorities made the difficult decision to seal the entrance with a concrete plug, effectively turning it into John's tomb. A memorial plaque was placed at the cave entrance to honor his memory and serve as a warning of the risks associated with caving. The Nutty Putty tragedy highlighted the risks that cavers face, particularly in confined spaces where even a slight miscalculation can lead to deadly consequences. Unlike hiking or rock climbing, caving involves navigating dark, cramped environments where one wrong move can result in entrapment. The physical strain of being inverted, as John was, places extreme pressure on the lungs and heart, leading to respiratory distress and, eventually, organ failure if the position is maintained for too long. Following the incident, there was a heightened awareness of caving safety protocols. Caving organizations began stressing the importance of careful planning, proper equipment, and the knowledge that even experienced cavers should proceed with caution. 
Some recommended a buddy system where a second person closely follows the leader through narrow passages to provide immediate assistance in case of a problem. The story of John Edward Jones is both a heartbreaking and cautionary tale. Remembered as a loving husband, father, brother, and friend, his life was cut short in a tragic accident that serves as a reminder of the fragility of life. For his family, the pain of losing him will never fade, but his memory lives on in the legacy of love and adventure he left behind. For those in the caving community, John's story has become a lesson in the importance of respect and caution when venturing into the unknown. Caving, like many outdoor activities, offers a thrilling sense of adventure, yet it demands a balance of courage and care. John Edward Jones's tragic death in Nutty Putty Cave reminds us of the allure and danger of exploring nature's hidden places. His story serves as a testament to human resilience and the enduring bonds of love and family, even in the face of adversity. Today, as people reflect on his story, they are reminded to approach adventure with both excitement and respect, honoring the memory of a man who loved life but was taken too soon in its pursuit.